my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am showcasing my cards using the May 2020 sketch from Alicia from Call Me Crafty Owl, her monthly sheet load of cards. And this is the sketch for this month. It's a really cute arrangement of two different pattern papers. And here is the actual cutting guide. I will link her video down below so you can see it and also a list of the other collaborators that are showcasing their cards today also so let's get started I use blooms and bliss pattern paper it's one of my favorite set sets of time from Stampin up and then I also have the blooms and bliss cardstock the different colors that were in the pattern paper so I was able to use the rich raspberry background. And I also embossed this background with the rose embossing folder. And then we cut one and a quarter inch one way and two inches the other way to make the different pieces and you just set them diagonal and then the sentiment the two inch circle and you can have it whichever way you that's one of the alternatives that she suggested is whatever sentiment you have and whatever uh, fits the sentiment would be fine I went ahead and found sentiments that fit the two inch circle and of course I had to put my Rose Water Nouveau drops. So I had three different sentiments and I and I I made half of them Rich Razzleberry and a half of them in Blush and Bride. May all your dreams come true. Little as much when God is in it. And the card base, I want to tell you the the card bases was part of a collection uh, I got at Michael's uh, 100 pound cardstock it was pink but then this was in there also it kind of had three different shades of pink so that's the card base I used okay may your dreams come true another may your dreams come true the difference the the blushing bride and the rich raspberry Little as much when God is in it. You've been on my heart and in my mind. Again, the difference. Same sentiment, just different colors. Another one, you've been on my heart and in my mind. And last but not least, may all your dreams come true. Now, last week... Before I started my 12 cards here, I went ahead and made a couple of other ones using just slightly different paper out of the same set. And I also used um, a color out of my own cardstock. And it's not, it's darker than the Rich Razzleberry, but I think it's still matched. So I have a total of 14 cards using this same sketch. So as I mentioned before, there is a list of other collaborators and I would love for you to go see them and see what they made too. Alicia always does fantastic sketches and I will leave that video linked at the bottom in my description box. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you next time. Bye bye.